Obedience trumps offering and Christ's offering brings spirit-led obedience. Most of the world's, in, in all religion, religion is getting back to and gaining access to God. And in every religion on earth, it is about what you can do in order to gain the Lord's favor. Exodus 19, the Lord calls his people his treasured possession. And in Exodus 20, gives them the 10 rules to live by. And so we see that it is not our, our offering that we bring to the table or something that we do that, gives, that, that makes the Lord love us. We are loved, therefore we do. Every other religion says, do, therefore you will be loved. Christianity says, you are loved, therefore do. And in this situation, we see that the Lord's obe- that Christ's obedience, the offering that he brings on the cross, bring, allows us to have spirit-led obedience. So we're going to be talking a little more about that as we look at Hebrews 10 this weekend. And uh, also, just a, a reminder, it's the first Sunday of the month, so we got potluck, and it's also spring, which means there's some uh, things that have become uncovered from the snow, like trash. So we're going to run around town, we're going to pick all that up, then we're going to come back, and then we're going to eat potluck. So this weekend, Hebrews 10, 1 through 10. Clean up downtown, eat some food. That's what we got going on. Hope you are having a great week, having a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you here on Sunday at 824 Laurel or online at youtube.com. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us and that it is your that you loved us first that causes us to love you. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you continue to stir our affection for you in such a way that we would be obedient. That we realize that it is not something that your favor is not something that we buy or that we can earn, but it is something that you have given to us and we respond as a result. And so it is out of freedom that we follow you. It is with joy that we come to you. Lord, this is the best news that we know. And so we pray that we would continue to share it graciously and that we would be, um, we could be examples of hope and joy and peace and love to the world around us. So thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to serve you and to be here in this place. Amen. All right, we'll see you Sunday.